Okay, hi, good to see you. We're gonna do our live stream today with River, so we're gonna go ahead and pray. She said she wanted to pray. Not anymore. Not anymore, okay, so I'm gonna pray. So Lord, we just thank you for this time, and we thank you that we can get in your word, and we ask that you would bless this time and bless those that are hearing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you going to interact? Are you just going to stay there like that? Uh, no. It's kind of scary. Okay. So we are in Genesis 11. And then when I look at stuff, I turn to that. To focusing on stuff. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when I, when I look on stuff, I look at this. Okay. Well, let's focus on this. Yeah, let's... What's this Let, for? It's a, the tripod, honey. It's a tripod. So we're going to focus on I Genesis. It. It's a screw to hold the tripod together. Remember, we're live. They're, they're listening to us. Okay, so we are on... We don't want to stick our tongue at them. We're on Genesis 11, 27. So this is the account of Tara. Tara... Who's Tara? Tara is the son of... Nahor. So Terah became the father of Abram. Can you say Abram? Abram. Nahor. Nahor. And Haran. Haran. Okay. So. Why is Haran? What? Why? God's uh, son named Haran. Well, his, I don't know why they named their sons like that. That's just what his name was. So they don't tell us why. Haran became the father of Lot. Who's Lot? His son. Did he have daughters? They don't tell us. But Haran died. Why? They don't tell us. Oh, maybe, maybe the Israelites come to them and he no. asked them back. He just back died. What? He just died. Maybe let's, something let's go shocked him. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. So Abraham's wife, Abram's wife was Sarai. Mm -hmm. And Nahor's... Oh, that's a beautiful name. Oh, very good. And Nahor's wife was Milcah. Remember, because Tara had Abram. Can you say it? Abram. Nahor. Aaron, Nahor. Nahor. And Haran. Haran. But Haran died. So he only had Abram and Nahor. And Abram's wife was Sarai, and Haran's wife was Milcah. Okay? Okay. So Sarai was barren, which means she couldn't have any children. It's very sad. Who's Sarai? Sarai was Abram's wife. Are you looking at them or are you looking at me? There you go. Sarai was Abram's wife, and she couldn't have any children. It was very sad. Why? They don't tell us why. Because she was buried? She was barren, yes. What is barren? Ba barren means she can't have any children. They don't tell us why. Oh, because some someone buried her. No. <laughs> she wasn't buried. She was barren. Barren means that she can't have any children. She just can't bear any children. I don't, they don't tell us why. Okay, um, but let's go on because that's I not. I think she's dead. She's not dead. Well, she's dead now, but in the story, she's not dead. So Tara took his son, Abram. Remember, he had two sons, Abram and yes. Nahor. So Tara took his son, Abram, his grandson, Lot. Remember, because Haran had a son named Lot and then he died. So Tara took his son, Abram. Are you paying attention? Yes. And his grandson, Lot. And his daughter-in-law, Sarai, Abram's wife. And they set out from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to Canaan. They, were, they left. They moved. But then, Tara lived, Tara, lived 200, Tara lived 205 years. And then oh, he, my gosh. Then he died. So now, do you see what this says? This is in chapter 12. Can you read what this says? Look. The call of Abram. Abram. Okay, so now we're going to... The call of Abram. Yes. Call of Abram. Yes, 
the Lord is going to speak to Abram. The Lord hasn't spoke to anybody since Noah got off the boat. Are we going to listen? Because you can't listen if your fingers are in your ears. It's kind of hard to do the live stream if you're going to have your ears like that. Okay? So the Lord said to Abram, leave your country. Go to, he, because he wants him to go to the land he's going to show him. Why? Because he's going to make him a great nation. Why? And, and he's going to bless him. Are you? Are he's he going to sink or die? He's going to live. And he's going to make his name great. And he's going to be a blessing. Abram's going to be a blessing. And all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. So that's what, they can't see your face. That's what God told, that's what the Lord told Abram. So what do you think of that? It's pretty amazing, right? It's no. good. No, it's good stuff. He says he's, if he goes, he's going to be blessed. I guess so. Thumbs up. So Abram left as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him, and yeah, Abram was 75 what years old. The mm -hmm. heck? He took his wife Sarai, his uh, nephew Lot, and all their things. Cup, cup, cup. Oh. And they moved to Canaan. And when he got to the great tree of Morai in Shechem, the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring, Don't I will give the land. Bad he, fruit. No good fruit. And he built an altar to the Lord there who had appeared to him. Okay. So now we need to figure out who this was about. Who was all this about? Oh, there's one. Mm -hmm. Who was all this about? Oh, I don't know. Abram. We yeah. learned about Abram, right? Yeah. And what did Abram do? He died. No. Nahor died. Or Haran died. Terah died. But Abram is alive. And God told Abram to do something. What did he tell him to do? No. Nah, I don't know. He told him to go to the land he would show him. Right? Do you remember mm -hmm. when God told Abram to go to the land he would show him? So where did he tell him to go? Do you remember? He told him to go to the land of Canaan. 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 They can't see. Canaan. Canaan. Mm -hmm. So that was who this is about and what he did and where he was going. Who, what, where, when. When did all this happen? When? How old right was now? he? How old was he when he left? This all happened when he was 75 years old, right? They, yeah. they probably want to see your whole face, not just your eyeballs. When he was 75 years old. So who, what, where, when. Now why? Why did Abraham leave? Because God told him to. That's right. God called him. God said, go and I will show you the land and I will bless you. So who, what, where, when, why. Now how? How did he go? I don't know. He had to walk. And he had to walk with his wife. What was his wife's name? Pam. No, Pam his Pam. wife was Sarai. 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 And he went with his, he had to go. How did Mama? he go? He went with his nephew. What was his nephew's name? Lady. Lot. Lot. And all their possessions. And they had to walk to the land that Four God was showing them, right? It would take them five days to walk there. I think it took longer. It didn't say how long it took, but when he was traveling, the Lord kept giving him promises. He said he was going to make him a great nation and bless him and that he would be a blessing and that all the people of the earth would be blessed through him <gasps> and that he would... And that he would give Abram's offspring yes. the land of Canaan. Uh-huh. So that's pretty awesome, right? Uh-huh. We are promised a land too. Do you know yes. that we're promised a land in heaven? That God yes. went to Jesus went to go prepare yes. a place for us there? Yes. So that when we 
when we die, we will go to be with him in heaven. So. Hey, and we, maybe we get white, even a different white. I don't know. Maybe. But I know that if. Remember we get new bodies? We do get new bodies. And when we. Maybe they would take our clothes. We would get new clothes. Just That's like, just weird. like the Lord promised Abram all these blessings, he promises us these blessings too if we have Jesus in our heart, if Jesus is our personal Savior. So, do you want to ask them? Do you want to ask them? They probably want to see you. Do you? If you sit back, they can see you and the sign. Do you have Jesus as your personal Savior? Do you have Jesus as your personal Savior? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Because if you have Jesus as your personal Savior, then you have the hope of heaven too, right? Just like Abraham had hope of his new life, we have hope of heaven. We need to admit. We need to admit that we're a sinner. We need to admit that we fall short. We need to not lick the paper. That would not be good. We need to ask God for forgiveness and admit that we mess up, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we need, to, we need to show them. Believe. Believe Very in good. Jesus. Believe in Jesus. He is God. He is. He saves us. He's made us. And he will take care of us. And he offers us yes. eternal life. Right? We have to believe that. Over here. Okay. All right. And then, what's the last letter? C. C. We have to confess Jesus is Lord. We have to tell other people about Jesus. So if we have Jesus as our personal Savior, we admit that we're a sinner, we believe that he's our Savior, and we tell other people about Jesus. So I know no one comes on. People have been watching, and we're going to put it on YouTube. And You're going to put it on your YouTube and channel. Uh, thumbs up and get our get our text message some day and we will do this at school. We'll do it again next time. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye.